In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I explore several little free libraries in my area. We go to so many different little free libraries in this video. I was exhausted by the end of this day, but I had so much fun. I love, love going to different little free libraries. Before we came home, we did end up stopping at a Goodwill and I did take a quick little breeze through their book section. I did as well find a couple of pretty exciting books. I was excited at least and I will definitely show you guys them, but let's go ahead and get right into the vlog. Going to the first little free library right now. This is what it looks like. This is the book I'm going to be dropping off at this little free library. It is an art copy of this book called True North. And here are some of the books up here on the top shelf. For the next little free library, I'm going to drop off this copy of this book, Sunburn by Laura Lippman. I have read this book. I did actually pick this book up at another little free library and I didn't love it. I only rated it two stars. Okay, so we tried to go to that little free library, but it is gone. And I don't think it was marked on the map as gone. So we're, you know, that's annoying, but we're off to the next one now. And here's the next one right there. It was only one minute away from the last one. All right, this one looks very nice. Very easy to sift through. All the books don't immediately fall out at me. Let's see what we got in here. Hmm. Not seeing anything for me in this one. A lot of children's books. That's kind of a cool older book. This one looks like it would smell very good. Publication date on this one is 1981, so it's not that old, but what else? The actual one, how I tried and failed to avoid adulthood forever. So yeah, I don't need that, and I will be dropping off this book here. Alright, the next book I'm going to drop off is going to be this one, Wait Till Helen Comes from Mary Downing Hahn. I did not read this one, but I don't see myself reading it anytime soon, so I'm going to drop this one off. Here is the next little free library. Very cute. Wow, this one has a lot of stuff in there. Let's see what's back here. What is this one? Oh wow. That's kind of a cool cover. Let's see if I can kind of see what's in the back here. This one's very pretty. They put this paper on the inside. <gasps> no way. Ah. Oh. I want this. Okay, this is bad. Is this bad because I just got this and I just DNF'd it? I got this book and I DNF'd it. But I want it. Is that bad? That is bad. Okay, I'm leaving my Mary Downing Hahn book. The Great Transition. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. You know what? So I'm going to leave it. That's a good find though. Um, that's a really cool looking book. This one's see in the back. 
back there. Oh, there's a set of Seinfeld DVDs in the very back. Season 8, or Volume 8. Oh, and this is a new one too. This is an art copy. Somebody around here must have an in with like the new books coming out. Because this one and that one is a very good find. That one might be a good find too, I don't know. Alright, that was a very successful one. The next book I'm going to be dropping off here is this Goosebumps Horrorland book, Creep from the Deep. And I did actually pick this up at a different little free library a while ago. Alright, and here is the next little free library. This one looks very cute as well. Okay, I'm already seeing some cool stuff in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my Goosebumps book. Some V.C. Andrews books. Wow, those covers are really cool. I like those. I mean, those are just really cool covers. Oh wow, there's a lot of V.C. Andrews books in here. A whole collection, pretty much. Yeah, you could like stock up on the whole series. Riverdale. Everything is just fine, a novel, okay. And that is that. And here is this little free library. Cute little handle. Let's see if there's anything fun in here. We got a Karen Slaughter book. Oh, okay. Uh, Outlander book. Wow, that's a pretty cool cover. Singer of the Sea God. I'll go ahead and drop my book off in here. And now I can see what's on this side. James Patterson. Okay, I'm not seeing anything that I would want. That's kind of nice looking. All right, and that was all in this one. For the next little free library, I'm going to be dropping off this book, The Ghosts of Crutchfield Hall, another Mary Downing Hahn book. I did not read this one as well, but I just no longer want to hang on to it. All right, and here is the next little free library. And let's see. Oh, this is a good one. It's an art copy, and that is actually my birthday, so that's kind of funny. I don't think I'm super interested in reading that one, though. Like, I wasn't really interested when that one came out. Uh, we have World War Z in here. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac. Oh, here's another art copy. Oh, wow, because that's April 2024, so this book hasn't even come out yet. Granite Harbor. Interesting. Somebody around here definitely has some access to some ARCs. Because I'm seeing a lot of ARCs in these different little free libraries. Okay, let's see if we got anything else good in here. Uh, some kids books. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and drop my book off. And that is that. And they got a cute little bench right here so you can sit down and get your book. The next book I'm going to drop off is this copy of Life of Pi, which I've held on to for like over a decade now. I really did love this book, but I don't know, I've just held on to it and I don't really at this point see myself ever rereading it. And I do have this old bookmark in there with these, these books and 
see it says spring 14 so this bookmark is like 10 years old yeah so i've probably had this book for at least 10 years all right and here is the next one oh i'm already seeing some fun stuff and this has a lot of really cool stickers i actually have this sticker check out some of these stickers i like this one right here all right this is a fun find. I only got that from a half price books. Ah, Frederick Bachman Bear Town. That's a pretty good one. Okay. I feel like somebody would be very happy to find this one. And they're all in very good condition as well. Draw Great Manga. That's cool. Let's see. Let me put my book in there because kind of hard to hold. What else do we got? Oh, that's a fun one. The, oh, okay, I'll pick that up. The Paris Apartment. I did read that one. 800 Graves. Gosh, it's really hard filming these little free library vlogs. It really is because you only have one hand to look at things and you got to film with the other hand. Okay, somebody around here is in publishing or is a reviewer because I keep finding these arcs. And this is another one. So this book would have just came out. I mean, this is an art copy, but yeah. So somebody around here has definitely got the hookup. And okay, well, that's some pretty good stuff. I think that's a good one. I think these are all good. And this book fell, so put that in there. All right, and I left my copy and that is it. The next book I'm gonna drop off is this one, The Book of Lamps and Banners. I got this one at a library book sale because I was excited to find a book by this author. But I'm not gonna read this because I realized after the fact that this is actually the fourth book in a series. So I'm just gonna drop this off at a little free library. Here is the next little free library. It has a really pretty sticker on it. There's a painting on the side. And let's see what we got. Go add value someplace else. Okay. This looks like Random House Reader's Circle. No. Um, okay, what else do we got in here? like going to houses with dogs. <laughs> read a loud handbook. Alright, I'm gonna leave this one because I don't like being here with the dog part of me. So that is that one. Actually, what's down here? Nothing. That is that one. The next book I'm going to drop off is another one of these older books. This one is called Coins and Archaeology. Here is the next one. Oh, we got a little lock on there. That's a nice little handle. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got in here. Wow, that is very broken spine. Whoa, what's this? Mystery of the Witch's Bridge. I'm gonna take this. Yep, I'm going to take that. Yep, okay. What else? Tamara Pierce. Okay. It's very cold out here. It has actually started snowing, even though it's the end of March, almost April. It's snowing and I'm freezing. So, yeah, what is this? I don't know. Okay, I'm done. Let me drop my book taking this very old one which is awesome and I'm done. Okay let's get a closer look at this one that I did end up taking. The Mystery of the Witch's Bridge. I like how it has that little price on it and opening it up to the publication page. It was published on March 1972 so yeah it's not terribly old but it is very cool looking and I do like collecting books that look like this 
And the next book I will be dropping off is this book right here. It just has the most beautiful cover. Actually, should I keep this? I kind of want to keep this. No, 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 no. We've kept it long enough. We are going to give it to a little free library. It has a beautiful cover. Like, that's lovely. If I seen that at a little free library, I'd probably take it. But I've just had it long enough. So, yeah, we're going to drop it off. I wonder what that little thing is on there. It looks like a little mailbox, maybe. You got something hanging from it. Oh, dog treats. Cute. <laughs> dog treats and bags for your dog poop. And here's this one. cute I'll leave those in here for someone because that's really cute all right let's see what we got in this one Sue Grafton oh a book of the month book kill for me kill for you when was this one? Oh wow this was a March 24 book of the month. Hmm, I'm tempted by that one. Oh wow, a Taylor Jenkins read book. What's this? Love letters. Hmm, okay. And what's this? Boy in the Suitcase. I always see this one. I don't know what it's about though. I might take this one, to be honest, because that's kind of cool. Okay, and I will leave this book. So this right here is the Detroit River, and actually right across there is Canada. So it's literally just a little swim away. Is that a boat? Yeah, a jet boat. ski. A jet ski? <gasps> it's freezing out. Yeah, there's a bunch of boats down there. Yeah, but he's in the water. Yeah, he's getting splashed. It's cold. He's gonna have a wet suit. Oh my goodness. You would not catch me in that jet ski right now. I wonder, you see that big bridge over there? Could that be bridge to Canada? It could be. It looks really pretty. Like, it looks really cool on camera. Yeah. To see all the water. And the clouds and everything. Yeah. It's cool that you can bring a kayak here and put it right in. That is cool. Just take it down there and go. Is that a man doing that? Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Yeah. The next one. A lot of cute little things on there. And let's see what's inside. Wow, okay. A lot of DVDs, okay. Shoot, don't all fall. That would be terrible. Night, put that one up there. Some Ice Age DVDs. And what do we got in there? Okay. And the book I'm gonna leave at this one is the fourth book in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. I do love this series, but I only had the fourth book, so I don't wanna hang on to just that one and 
that is that. This is the last little free library we are going to. And it's right in front of this little shop. And this is what it looks like. Oh goodness, it's very wobbly. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Reader's Digest, okay. What's down here? Uh, not too much. And the book I'm gonna drop off is this old book I have called The Treasures of Time. And yep, I'm just gonna put that right in there. This is very wobbly, okay. And that's it, the last one. guys for coming along with me as I explored all of these little free libraries. I had so much fun because we went to a city a little bit outside of where we live so it was a little bit of a drive but it was very cool to see all of these different ones that I haven't been to before as well as that one clip where we went right on the water and that was actually Canada right across that little waterway. So that was so cool. And I had a lot of fun at the Goodwill as well. I was so, so tempted to buy that paperback copy of Cackle because that is one of my very top favorite books of all time. I love that paperback edition. Like that cover is so pretty, but I'm really trying to not collect multiple copies of the same book so i did end up leaving it there that is all i have to share with you guys in this video if you guys like these little free library vlogs please let me know but other than that i will see you guys in the next video